Okay. First of all, I want to say peace to everybody. Peace to the world. I hope everybody's being safe out there in the streets with this whole COVID shit going on and everything. Uh, welcome to the first episode of A Beautiful Lie. Um, this is me telling uh, my street stories and what I learned from them. Because the main thing, I, I don't want... I don't want to see kids into the street anymore. I don't want to, like, it's it's a trap, man. It's it's a trap. You're not going to win. It's only death or jail, and that's it. So hopefully these stories could send you a different direction and not towards the street. You know, luckily I was able to learn from it, and I'm still here. So, but started off the way we started off. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. These episodes are brought to you by uh, Illogy Apparel Store. Link is in the bio. Get your t-shirt, hoodie, all that, you know. Um, also, I have, you know, music on streaming sites, so on and forth, but that's what I have. So, this is what it is. <clears throat> all right. First, let's talk about street rules, right? Street rules between uh, telling and snitching. Telling. Telling is someone that's, that's, that's with a person that's not in the street. You expect someone in the street to tell because they're not a part of that life. They don't have to follow those rules and guidelines. You know, one of the rules are you don't take someone uh, that's not in the life of the street with you to do a crime or a caper that's one because they're not with it they don't they're gonna tell you know what i'm saying with everything going on now niggas that's supposed to be in the street is telling anyway but you don't do that you don't take someone you don't put them in that predicament that they're gonna tell they're gonna tell man like they they're not a part of that life they have a job they have whatever it is so don't don't do that don't inv you know involve someone that's regular, a L7, you know, someone that's not in the life. <clears throat> snitching, snitching is with someone you know that is in the life. Snitching is someone that, you know, y'all did the crime together and they got caught and told. That's snitching, snitching. Can you say the word snitching to all of you? Snitching, yeah, that's snitching. That's what that is. So hopefully you understand the difference between telling and snitching. First off. Now, moving on. Um, me growing up in the streets of Brooklyn, uh, I, I'm not going to say I was a bad kid. I don't think I was a bad kid, you know. Went to a Catholic school. I was, I was, I know I was like pretty much, you know, not into it. Not that I was, you know, I went to Catholic school for crying out loud, but, um, and then it's just like, you know, people older picked on, uh, you know what I'm saying, scared of everything, and, you know, after a while, you kind of get, kind of get tired. So what led me to the street, this is what led me to the street, got a little older, Blessed our soul, my mother, Queenie, made a promise to me. And she said, if you bring home good grades, I'll get you whatever you want. Cool, deal, deal made, wow. <clears throat> I knocks it out the park, get busy. I'm not a, I'm not a like a dumb doer. Most of y'all are not dumb. It's just probably, you probably just didn't find what your goal is or whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? A lot of stuff is memory, whatever, school stuff anyway. So, um, knocked it out, come home, B's, A's, everything, I was hyped, ready, ah, this one, you know what I'm saying, at that time, nigga a little old, at that time was like, you know, guest jeans, with a guest jeans, polo, this, 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 and my mom's looked at it, and I remember looking at her face, she was proud, but she got me, she was like, yo, I can't afford that. Like, I'm I'm not gonna be able to get that. And I was like, what? She was like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna be able to get the stuff you want. 
and I, I was kind of disappointed and a little furious. <clears throat> that very next day, I robbed somebody. Very next day. Robbed a, robbed a couple people that day. Just so I can get what I want. Not cool. Now, I say all that to say this. What did I learn from that? I learned later down the line that I was selfish. That was very selfish of me to do that. You know, I didn't ask, I didn't communicate to my mother about what her plan was, or she didn't communicate to, to me what her plan was either. So what I'm saying is, parents and kids, please communicate with each other. Communi parents, please communicate with your kids. If you have a plan, of you know what your goal is you know I know you don't want your kids to know your business or whatever but they need some understanding too at that time I'm an explanation person I, I didn't understand it and I just went with my reasons of what it is I felt I was a burden so with that I did something selfish you know what I'm saying <clears throat> it led to so many other things but please the moral of this story is quick fast you know, I'm not trying to make these long, but the moral of the story is communicate with your kids. Let them know if you have plans. <clears throat> you know, a lot of us try to give because we didn't have it. But, you know, that makes it like talk to them. Make them understand what it is. You don't have to spoil them. But, you know what I'm saying, if you can't get it, explain it. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't have that thing is because sometimes... You don't know what we're thinking. And like, I, for me, you know, it was selfish, but I felt that I was a burden. And I need to do something to leave so I won't be a burden to my mother anymore. So, please, communicate with your kids. That being said, thank you for watching. Remember, the streets is not it, man. Streets is not it. Don't enter that life. It's only two places you can go. Death or jail. And the way things is moving now, you have a third strike. Someone is going to tell to save their own ass. And you can't get upset like someone is going to tell. So if you know those laws and you still understand that and you still want to choose it, wow, that's, that's incredible. But know those three things. Death, jail, someone is going to tell. Peace. My name is Illa G. Make sure you like and subscribe. Join, talk about it, leave all the comments at the bottom, how you feel, everything. You know what I'm saying? I know I'm not the only one that's been through this, the survivors, or even if you haven't, leave your comments at the bottom. Thank you. Once again, the streets is a beautiful lie. It's a beautiful lie. She did not love you. Salute. Hello.